Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is chamfer step down. So the usual chamfering tool path that you've seen from SolidCam allows you to choose any kind of tapered tool, either a chamfer mill or a tapered end mill, to do your chamfers on your part. And that's basically just giving it a, a different diameter to use along the tool, and that has been covered in a previous video. In this video, what we'll be talking about is sometimes when you do your tool path, you actually will be using a tool that is smaller than the chamfer. We compare the sizes here the chamfer i have to machine is actually much larger than my tool or my tool is much smaller than my chamfer so how do you actually do that with the solid cam chamfering ability first let's take a look at what i've done here so i've still opened up a profile toolpath like we normally would with chamfering i've chosen as my geometry the top edge again very similar to what we would normally do with chamfering my tool as you saw is a 3 8 end mill 3 8 chamfer mill Levels, I'm starting from the top of the target down to this bottom here, that's about a half inch in depth. And in technology, I'm doing tool side left. I'm doing this as a finishing tool. And I'm giving it a hundred thou step down. Everything about this is the same as the regular chamfering tool path. The only difference here is in addition to giving it that diameter for the chamfering ability, I wanna give it an angle to follow because otherwise this would just be a regular profile tool path. It would just step down in the Z direction by 100 thou and it would, it would basically chamfer on the way down, but it would not give us the angle that we're looking for. It would just do a nice vertical wall. So to get that angle, what we need to do is go to the advanced tab and click on wall draft angle. What the wall draft angle allows us to do is from that upper level there that we chose, it's going to actually tilt the tool path by the angle I put in there. So I gave it a 45 degree to match the angle of the chamfer. And now the tool path will actually go at 45 degrees. If we take a look at the wireframe, you can see that the tool path is actually going 45 degrees. Now these two options together, the chamfer diameter and the wall draft angle, require you to make a little bit of an edit to the geometry. Because what this is right here, this represents the actual center of the tool. So I need to go into the geometry button of the uh, technology section and give myself a negative offset. That way, what I'm doing is I'm actually not riding along the center of the tool, but I'm actually just offsetting it by the radius of whatever my cutting diameter is. Now, normally when you do this, you would put in probably the, the radius of the tool, the full diameter, but since we're using a chamfer diameter, this is actually the radius of the chamfer diameter. So negative that 25 thou. And what that does is it will generate a tool path. If we look at it from the side view, that takes that tool. Because I'm telling it to offset just by a little bit, I'm not actually riding along the, the diameter. I'm actually going right onto the surface there. I'm getting that full engagement of the side of the tool. And as you can see, it's stepping down by 100 thou in the Z direction, but it's giving me that 45 degree as well. And if we just go to the final pass, you can see that there is my 50 thou right there of my chamfering diameter. So to do a chamfer tool path step down, essentially all you gotta do is use the wall draft angle in the advanced tab and using the chamfer diameter and then put in the radius of the chamfer diameter as a negative offset. And that way you'll get your chamfering in the angle that you want with the tool that you want. The, the angle that you plug into the wall draft angle should be the same angle as the chamfer or else you're not really doing a nice linear pass along that, that chamfer. But otherwise, this will give you that chamfering step down that you're looking for. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. If you've got any questions or parts you'd like us to take a look at, you can send it to us using the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.